Well, are, aren't you the timely one? Father's Day is this Sunday. Yes. And your new book is Your Dad Stole My Rake. What a perfect gift for dad. <laughs> yeah. You're a dad now because you speak from a position of experience. You've got how many kids? Two? I've got two. Okay. Two daughters. Yes. And oh, uh, nice. they are beautiful. They are beautiful. And uh, I haven't seen them in weeks. But <laughs> well, I got books to sell. Right. But I'm going to, uh, I'll go home on Father's Day and, Are you uh, and we'll a big, hang out. Is it a big uh, thing in your house? Um, I don't really know. It's not really up to me. It's, uh, they're in charge. I have no authority in my home. Just on Father's Day or? No, pretty or... much every day. Okay. I, uh, I spoiled them. Not like my father. My father was tough. And he was a hard, you know, he didn't do anything that kids wanted to do. He just did what old men wanted to do. And uh, that is not how it works in my house. I have to take my kids for ice cream three times a week. Yeah, you should see the entitlement. I've spoiled them. I've made them into monsters. <laughs> with the samples. 12-year-old girls and their friends with the samples. No. 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 College kids sweating his ass off back there trying to... No. My father took us out for ice cream once. He said, everyone gets one scoop of vanilla, no cone. Put out your hands. Wow. Do, are you, do you, now, uh, do you want something for Father's Day? What is, what, like, what are you hoping? Because if you say it now, if you say now what you want, they've got, a, they've got a great hint and you might get it. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. You don't want anything. No father wants anything. No father wants anything. What camera can I look in? No father <laughs> wants anything. No more presents for dad. Or, or my book could be the last present for dad. <laughs> That's it. That's my gift to you. A father does not need presents. There's no, don't, just, your dad does not want you running around the mall, buying mini helicopters, <laughs> shirts he's not going to wear. Dad is there. He wants to see your face, and that's it. He has everything he needs. Think of your dad like a clam. <laughs> he's there. You wouldn't buy a clam a sweater. <laughs> he won't wear it. Neither will your father. Father's Day is a tough time to get a sweater, too, because it's in June. Yeah, that would be a horrible gift, but you run out of other ideas for him. This is a man that is just, he's like the couch. It is our job to be there and be consistent. Mom changes, changes her hair, changing all the time. Kids change, they grow, they're changing. Dad stays the same. <laughs> Walks into the kitchen in the same shirt, little hair sticking up in the back, makes a goofy joke. Ah. That's it. Imagine, Stephen, if you came into the kitchen one morning with black lipstick and told everyone you're going goth. <laughs> freak out. People everyone would freak would out. Freak out. The People whole corporation out. would crumble. Well, what a summertime. So you're now, you're, your kids young, are they in school? Like, they're the kinds, they have the summer off at this point? They're still pretty young? They're the kind of children that have off, yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> when they grow up, they don't. They have to work, but they... That's true. Okay, so, no, they're, still so they're around. That's fun. That's what Dad wants, just the kids around. You guys go on vacation or anything like that? Like... Yeah, yes. That's yes. Yes. <laughs> It's time for family vacations. Yes. Uh, it is a uh, horrible thing. It is, <laughs> it is a, uh, it is a, a gut-wrenching, uh, soul-crushing, sticky affair. But you have to go. You have to do it. And sticky because? Because you are going to, you're going to uh, buy things that you don't want to buy. You're going to stand in line for things you do not like. You're going to buy food for people who do not eat. You're going to stand in theme parks and eat things on a stick. You're going to wear a bathing suit all day long in public. You're going to swim next to people who normally you would cross the street to avoid. That's why you're sticky. I understand. But you have to go. You sure. have to go. Right. You you're a bad parent if you don't take your kids, right? You have to go. It's now, what important. about but after it's over, you're exhausted, right? Yeah, you need a vacation from the vacation. Yes, well, of course. I mean, but it's it's more upsetting for the children than it is even for us at first. I mean, think of you, you don't know your parents that well when you're a little kid. Now you're in a hotel room, really close to them. <laughs> it's very upsetting. I remember sitting on the hotel bed waiting for my father to come out of the bathroom, thinking, "What is he doing in there? <laughs> Why is he taking so long? What are those noises?" <laughs> It sounded like a polar bear rummaging through a dumpster filled with balloons. <laughs> and then...
true. It's, it sounds it's true. Like. That's what it sounds like. And then he comes out and gives that dad line, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> but what can you do? You're a child. There's nowhere else to go. I, so I remember standing in the bathroom with, in, in water, trying to brush my teeth and hold my breath at the same time. <laughs> but you have to take them. You have to go. Yes. But you're right. At the end, I do feel a little uh, exhausted. And I think that's when you have to circle back uh, and go with your wife or your husband. And you have to leave. The two of you, I, it's serious. You have to go out and do things on your own. After the vacation, you have to be alone together. Yes, at some point. Because you're the people that started this whole thing. And you, you might forget. have second thoughts. You might have second thoughts after you've spent time with your children. Yeah, that's right. You're like, what have we done? This is a horrible thing so we how, did. How do you repair the damage from the vacation? Anything. Anything anything works. Just get out of the house, the two of you, alone. And uh, we even... You know, it doesn't have to be something fancy. You don't have to spend a lot of money. We, we, my wife once, the two of us, got in our minivan, and we left, and we got tired. We didn't want to go uh, anywhere. We didn't even want to go to dinner. We just literally... I'm not kidding. We opened the garage door, crept back in with the minivan, <laughs> shut the door, and just hung out there. <laughs> Turn, you turn the car off, right? I have no way of knowing that. Well, Tom, thanks for being here. The book is Your Dad Stole My Rake. It's perfect for Father's Day. Tom Papa, everybody. We'll be right back. Thanks, Tom.